Hey everyone! Welcome to this fun Monday mini that you can do in under 30 minutes. Make sure to stick around and um, to the end so you can check out the awesome results. And if you are new here, welcome. These are tutorials you can do in under 30 minutes, so it's super easy to find time uh, for these beginner friendly tutorials. Um, we're going to start today. We're going to paint a pretty butterfly. So let's do a background first. I'm going to start with lime green. If you're looking for the supply list, it's in the description below. So you can pause the video, get all your supplies ready. And I'm going to just put these colors on. So I have lime green, I have teal, and then this one here, it says deep turquoise, but it's a little lighter. I think it's almost kind of like in between a turquoise and an aqua. So I'm gonna start with those, and I have um, a big flat brush here that I am going to use. And I'm gonna start just putting down some fun colors here. So I'm gonna start with my green, and I'm just gonna put it kind of like, just kind of stamping it on. You know, blending it in a little bit. We're basically just taking our brush and just stamping some fun colors on here. And as we go, I have a spray bottle. So I brought a spray bottle of water here. I'm going to go ahead and just spray a little bit of water on there. And we should start to get almost some like little bubbles. If you don't get any, you need a little bit more, put a little bit more water on there. We should start to see it separating a bit here. We're just stamping our background on. And then as we keep going down a little bit, we'll just spray a little bit. We just want to make sure we're covering all our background with this stamping technique. Is coming in again with the water bottle here. And you'll see I'm using a flathead brush, so Depending on what type of brush you're using, if you're using a filbert like this, you're gonna get a little bit of a different stamping um, pattern. 
So whatever you prefer, nothing is wrong. Um, it's just gonna look a little bit different if the shape of your brush is a bit different. Gonna get a little bit more paint on my plate. We're just spraying as we go along. We're trying to keep it a little bit wet here. Once it's all covered there, we're gonna finish spraying this last little part here. And I'm just cleaning up my brush. And we're gonna go in with our paper towel here. Mine is um, a little bit wet from just using it to clean my brush. You can use that or you can use a dry one, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna find a little bit of a drier area like this and I'm just gonna come in and just tap up and down, just like this. So wherever we sprayed, the majority of that's gonna come off. The rest is going to stay and you're gonna get these watermarks. So you might have to like, once you get a too much paint on there, you might have to just fold it over and just keep going along here. If you find like you're not getting the watermarks, you can spray a little bit more and do it again. So we can just take, and I really like this technique because it looks super cool. Just take, let's say again, just a light spray all over. And then we can tap again. And you're gonna get the spots where they were the most, oops, the most wet. You're gonna get them to be showing the most, so. And that looks really, really cool. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry this. So if you, um, this is obviously, everyone's gonna be super wet still because we just sprayed it. Um, so go ahead and take a minute, blow dry it. That way our top layer is um, not gonna blend in and I will meet you back here. say that looks pretty cool I love the background it's kind of funny because it matches my my uh, paper plate and I didn't even mean to do that but <laughs> I guess maybe subconsciously I had been looking at the paper plate and I was like hey let's use these colors but anyways it's really really um pretty let me know in the comments if you liked this technique uh just imagine how many different color combinations you could make with this it's insane so 
we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna draw a butterfly in here so I'm gonna do a pencil first afterwards I'll come in with my black pen so that you can see it a lot better it is a very abstract background so you might have a little bit of a hard time at first seeing this pencil just to warn pre-warn you but I am gonna be going over it with pen so I'm gonna do a uh, butterfly on an angle and I want the wings for myself personally to be coming off the page so I don't need the whole butterfly to be in there so I'm just gonna start with a center body here um, little round head and then just kind of come in long and down and I'm inspired by butterflies right now because I am going to be raising monarchs this year. So I'm not doing a monarch today, but um, I'm inspired by that. So I have my milkweed seeds planted and I'm waiting for them to sprout out up. Okay, so I want this butterfly to come up a tiny bit higher. So that's why we're drawing it out first. So there we go. And then I'm gonna take the center body and we'll do our beautiful wings. So. Let me draw this out for you darker so you can see. So that's my center body there. And then I'm gonna come up with some pretty wings. So from here, come up and we're gonna come off the page. And then here and I come down like that. Same with this one. And you can make your wings any shape you want. So if you want them to be more square, they can. Um, I'm going to leave mine like that. And I will do that outline darker just so you can see. You don't have to do this step. This is just me doing it for you so you can see the outline. We're gonna be outlining later anyways with some uh, paint. And then we can go in with some fun designs and um, just bring in some cool shapes. So I'm going to just use my pen because you know what? We don't need to be perfect here. Um, we just need to be present. So however this turns out is how it's going to turn out. I'm going to actually bring the body a little bit longer down here. There we go. And I'm going to just start drawing some shapes. So maybe some shapes like this off of wings. And same with down here. There's no right or wrong. We're just having fun here. Okay, so we have our fun shapes. I'm gonna come in with my round brush here. I have a size four. 
I'm gonna put some black on my plate and we're gonna outline everything we just did with some paint. So we are bringing this body, I'm gonna be filling the body right in. body there and then we're just gonna be filling these lines and I'm gonna make them thicker than my pen line I want to be able to see them I like my paintings to be nice and bold we're gonna be having some color go around these so we want to make sure this black outline is thick enough where it won't get covered It's a great time when you're painting to you know become self-aware and see where are your thoughts like are you struggling with thinking that these lines are not all the same shape or you know um are they not straight enough or are you loving it and you're finding that it's perfect the way it is where are your thoughts this is kind of a good exercise to become self-aware. So if you find like you're like nitpicking at yourself kind of, or you know, your OCD tendencies might be kicking in and you're like, this isn't exactly like this wing. Um, it's a good time to stop and just be present and you know, say to yourself, I'm taking this time for myself. Um, it's a self-care, you know, routine. We're not looking for perfect, um, you know, practice makes great doesn't make perfect so we're just going to be present and the great comes afterwards giving yourself you know grace showing yourself like it doesn't have to be necessarily the way you're putting your the pressure on yourself for it to be so just kind of pay attention to that and if you're not feeling any of that and you're just painting and having a grand time then that is awesome so look at how pretty this is turning out. It looks almost like stained glass. All right, so we have it filled out there. I'm gonna rinse my brush off. I'm gonna give this butterfly some little antlers or antennas, not antlers, it's not a reindeer, <laughs> antennas. And um, by doing that, I'm just gonna, you can use a smaller br round brush if you wanted to, or a detail brush. I'm just gonna use the very tip of my brush and kind of come up. And now if you are, you know, running short on time, you could absolutely 100% just leave your butterfly like this. Um, you could paint it in 
with different colors. Uh, I think it looks beautiful. What I'm going to do is, um, instead of bringing different colors into here, I'm going to add some white accents. And I think the background is just so beautiful that it doesn't really need much more than that. So if you are, you know, free on time and you want to take and, you know, maybe do like different colors in each section, you definitely could. I would suggest colors opposite the color wheel of this. It would make it really pop. So maybe like some oranges, magentas, um, reds, anything like that, even purples. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, I'm going to put some white on my plate and I'm going to outline this with some white and I think it's going to be gorgeous. I show up for these Monday minis, you know, like just going with the flow. So, um, I sit down and I just kind of go with the flow of what I'm feeling at the time. So when I first originally sat down, I'm like, I'm going to color this in, but now that I see it, I'm like, I don't think it needs it. I think it's gorgeous. So we're going to go in with some white. And I'm just going to bring in some white highlights through here. It's going to make it pop out. I'm going to do the top stroke of every section. We'll start there and see how that looks. But just the the upstroke of every section here. So I'm kind of leaving the bottoms. I'm adding this like it's a highlight. so pretty and I'm gonna keep going with that just along the top Don't forget when you're painting lines, you tend to hold your breath. I do it too. And then all of a sudden I'm like, why is my head <laughs> pounding? So stop, take a deep breath and then continue on. It doesn't help for our shaky hands too when we hold our breath. So we gotta be aware and reminded, stop and breathe.
Alright, so I'm going to put a little bit of white inside the body. Just like a little highlight here. Kind of going down. Just to accentuate the shape. I'm going to clean up my brush. I'm going to take the very tip of my brush and I just want to give a little highlight to these little antennas here. So just super thin. And I'm going to leave it like that. So you could leave it like that or like I said, you could paint it in with different colors, which would be really pretty too. But uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this Monday mini. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification if you would like to know when there are more of these fun videos uploaded. Um, also, if you check out the video options that are popping up at the end of the video, you will see other options to click on and you can check out other Monday minis. So uh, have a great day, everybody, and I will see you soon. Mm -hmm.